Hello, my little munchkins. As you know, I've been telling you that I wanted to work on something that is totally different. And doing all the tarot reading, this is what I enjoy doing out of everything. And I was calling that segment the sick and shedding. But I don't know if I really want to call it that. Hey, give me some suggestions. Because I'm a necromancer. And what I do, I like, like I said before in a previous video, I think the one that I've done before this, is that I do. I talk to the dead. I've been like this ever since I was five years old. And I used to be so afraid of it. Oh, my God. I, when my uncle came up, he was like 13 years old at the time, and I was five. And he came to me, and he said to me, he says, hey, let me see you do it. And I was like, do what? He said, let me see you talk to the people. And I was like, I was a little girl, and I was like, talk to what people? The dead people. And when he brought that out to me, that they were dead people, I became afraid of my gift. Dead people. Of course, I'm a grown-up now, but at the time, when he said yes, and that was the first time I've ever heard the name Necromancer. So I said to him, I said, well, what is, I, he said, you're a necromancer. And I said, I'm five. I said, what is a necromancer? He said, it's somebody that talked to dead people. And ever since then, I was petrified. I didn't, I didn't want to, didn't want to talk to dead people. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want it. I, I, I was scared. As anyone would be. But now I understand. Because yes, I channel. And you all who follow me know that. So when I can go in, I may scream, I may holler, I may make, ah! It's all because of the energy. I struggled so hard with allowing these things to be seen and cutting them out of the video. Sometimes it'll be something and sometimes it won't. But let's go in. And I would have not even gone in had it not been for Tracy, Tracy Braxton. I didn't even want to say the names until it said, Kevin, I'm not fighting it anymore. This is my gift, and now I'm going to share it with the world. Ride with me. Let's go into the dark. Let's see. Since nobody... I, you know, hey, what is it to say, hey, do a reading on this? Like I said, if they pass 30 days, I don't want to deal with it. Or if you know someone who's sick and they're on the bed or whatever, this is not me that's going to say, I left a million dollars, I left some rubies stuffed somewhere, or some diamonds, I left some drugs here and there. That's not what I do. I give closure. I don't tell you how to find lost things. But I give closure. That's what I do. I am the closer. So with that being said, let's just go and let's lay out some cards and let's see what they got to say. Who are we going to talk to this evening? Me. Who is me? No. This person is saying he still want to say Charles. Okay? He's saying I mean, from the last time I didn't let him speak, it wasn't his time. So let's see Charles. Are you, are you sure Charles? Then Charles it is. Charles, you got a lot of cards upside down, so are you being funny when you know I don't read upside down? No, he says, I hope you turn them up, the right side up. Okay, Charles, what is it that you want me to know? What is it you want me to know? You want them to know how you died. Is that what you're saying? Charles said that he was in a love affair. And this was over some drugs. 
He was in a love affair and his girlfriend set him up. He said he wanted his story to be told because it will give him some closure. So whoever know the story about a man named Charles or anything like that, Charles, Charlie, Charlotte, Charlize, anything, and you know that this person recently died or dying because they was in a love affair and they believe that their lover set them up. Again, this could be a male or a female. The way it comes to me is from a male. There was a fight. There was something that went wrong. It was like, it was he saying to me, it was like when things before everything started out, it was everything was cool. But when they began to implement things, when the things start to roll in and they started making money, it started out slow, but it was good. He had his doubts. But as he got in it and got the rolling and start making money, things didn't feel right to him. He's telling me he met some girl. This is when he met some girl. So I'm not clear on time with this. I, I'm not clear on time. So anyway, he says he meets this, he meets some female at this time. She was well together. He didn't know she was a part of whatever this is. And Everything was cool. And she wanted him to do something that was not straight. And he said, after a while, he gave in and he did it. He gave in, he did it, and it cost him his life. He felt like after that, he did this. There was a great celebration. Now he's feeling like his friend set him up for his girl. Look, this is what the cards are saying to me. If you know this story or if you know anything similar, I hope that I helped you answer. This is something that was a setup. With the wrong person. He trusted the wrong person and it cost him his life. And now he's being, it's, it's, they're celebrating. Obviously, they got away with it. They just couldn't find anybody who did it. This could have happened in the last six months. It could have been somebody who's still on it. That, I don't know. But whatever it is, they're celebrating at the end of this because whoever did it got away with it. And he just wanted that story out there. Well, that was interesting. So let's see how this really ends for the people or whatever. Do they ever have any karma? Well, of course they will. To take a life is bad, unless it's in self-defense. And the way it seemed to me, this man was blindfolded. When he realized it was that, when he realized this was on, it was done. And clearly, I don't even want to say it, but I'm going to say it. This wasn't even a shooting. This was more like Either this was a stabbing or a bludgeon being beat, but this was not a shooting. So the more details he's telling me is that he bled to death. And he's telling me that it was very, very painful. Oh, he's saying that it was the blow to the head. But he was grateful for it because it helped him get, it helped him go much faster. And he feels as though they may have did it out of a mercy. Like, like just that last thing, just to give him that clobber, just the, or whatever they did. That last blow, he said, it was like time was moving slowly. He is definitely talking to me. He's saying it was like time was moving slowly. And as you know, when things like this happen, it's always, it's, it's like in a matter of seconds. But because when you're facing your death, he's saying to me, it was just slow. It was like he couldn't even do anything. He was gasping for his air. He was bleeding out. He said, and when the persons turned around and saw that, they gave him another wallop and it, took him out and he was grateful for it because it relieved him 
of the agony of suffering of death. But he said he was ready. He said, now, if you know this person, he said he believed if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. He says, and anybody work in this field, work in this life, know that death can come any day. And if you're scared, you can't be it. It ain't a life of a gangster. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's it. That's, that's enough. That's what he said. Let me pick out his card. So where is his soul? The moon. He's at peace with this. He's moved on. Moon mean he moving on. I'm glad I can help him with that. He just want to tell his story. So please, let's get together and hear some of these stories. Let's see what happened. You know? I'm, I'm glad I can help him with that.